Hi, my name is Matt Davis. I am the Rock Island Program Manager for Jackson County Parks Plus Rec. We are out here on the Rock Island Trail near the Vale Tunnel in southern Kansas City. This is one of the most popular sites on our Rock Island Trail. It is a railroad tunnel built in 1903, which is 30 feet tall and 465 feet long. The tunnel is lit, so when you go through, uh, you won't feel like you're entering into a cave. The segment of the Rock Island Trail we are currently on is seven miles long and stretches from Brickyard Road in southern Kansas City to Jefferson Street and Southern Lee Summit. We have a current construction project on our northern half of our trail, which is six and a half miles long and goes from Brickyard Road to Truman Sports Complex. When completed, the entire trail project will be 13 and a half miles and will go from Truman Sports Complex in the north to Jefferson Street in Southern Lee Summit. Heading south from this location, the trail crosses the Little Blue River, and beyond that, you'll go underneath 470. A couple of other exciting things coming up in the future are a connection to the Little Blue Trace Trail, which will go in 2021, and we will be extending the Rock Island Corridor another mile and a half to the south, uh, also in 2021. On this segment of the Rock Island, we have a trailhead at Hartman Park and Lee Summit, and we also have our 98th Street Trailhead in South Kansas City. On the northern segment of our trail, we'll have a trailhead at Woodson Road in Raytown. We'll have a trailhead in downtown Raytown and a trailhead at the Truman Sports Complex. One great thing about this project is that this unused railroad sat for 40 years. There was trash, there were tr big trees growing in the middle of the railroad tracks. And Jackson County took it, purchased it, and developed it to turning it into something that the community could really enjoy and embrace and make their own. The high level of usage on this trail lets us know that the community wants this type of infrastructure and will utilize it when we, when we put our resources into building it. We know that building trails uh, results in healthier people in our community and uh, that's something that's very important to our work. Jackson County Parks Plus Rec manages operations and maintenance and security for the Rock Island and all our other trails. All our trails are patrolled by our Ranger Division and all our trailheads are patrolled by our Ranger Division every day. Each of our trails, including the Rock Island, has mile markers every two tenths of a mile. These mile markers have a unique number which uh, will allow first responders to find you in the event of an emergency. Each one of our trailheads has rules and regulations pertaining to trail usage, including leash laws, you know, motorized vehicles, um, how to pass, how to, how to uh, warn others of your approach, things of that nature. The northern portion of this trail opens in early 2021, and we are excited to see the community embrace it in the way they have this southern portion. We anticipate that uh, the community will embrace it just as much as they have this section and that we'll see people out there every day riding bikes, walking and jogging and uh, really getting out there and enjoying Jackson County Parks Plus Rec facilities. Stay tuned for other Walktober events throughout our region all month.